Hey y'all, welcome back to Jack Fleming Artistry. Um, today I'm trying out a new tool. You guys might have seen these before. I saw a couple of other people using these on Instagram. Um, went ahead and bought one, thought we'd see how it works, see if it's any faster than painting by brush. I'm currently doing these license plate toppers. Um, they're going on a Model A. And decided to do a color change on this one from orange to black and I did all these initially with the brush and I was sitting here thinking you know I'm gonna try this new tool out and see if it's any faster see if it's any easier than the brush I'm going to film that for y'all we'll see how it goes and then afterwards I'll tell you what I think about it hope you guys enjoy okay so inside this little pot on this I filled it with my one shot um, it has like a little needle kind of thing that goes down, has a hole through it, and basically we're working off of gravity and surface tension. So whenever I touch this to the surface here, it releases just a little bit of paint. It doesn't come out very fast, which is good because we don't want it to all of a sudden just gush out uncontrollably. So it actually has pretty good control to it. I feel it's a little slower than doing this with the brush. It still takes, I want to say, just about the same amount of hand-eye coordination. Um, but it's a little easier for me to get inside of those spots, like that hole in the R up inside of the crack on the W there. So in that regards, it's kind of a nice little tool. I can see it as being useful. If this surface wasn't so rough, might make it even a little bit more easy. Be honest with you sitting here right now doing this, I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to do the hard parts with this and then come back with the brush because uh, this is pretty slow. It's a little slower than I like to work. I think what we're going to do, I'm going to put this on hyperlapse I'm going to go ahead and fill in all my little rough parts, let you guys watch that. And I'm going to come back with the brush and fill in these big fat parts because uh, this just takes too long. So let's do that and I'll get back with y'all. I think it's only fair in a video like this to go ahead and show you guys clean up on this. I'm going to take the leftover paint that was in it. Oh, just got some of my hand. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to dump that in there. I'm just going to let that sit while I clean up my hand. Um, so I'm going to dump it out. It comes with, or when I ordered it, it came with, uh, I'll show you. Let me grab them. came with a big old pack of these little wand dills that are almost like a q-tip on the end. Let's get one out. Show y'all. It's got a little fuzzy tip on it. Um, I'm obviously not going to clean the whole thing out with that. I'm going to take one of these dirty rags first. I'm going to wipe out as much as I can. Out. I looked down inside of it, still got a lot of paint on the walls of the inside of that little cup. So we're going to keep going there. That might be enough at this point. I like to keep this covered because I'm still going to use some of that paint. Dip that over that one. I'm actually going to use my reducer here, I'm using some alpha reducer on this one right now. Um, because I think I can easily get that in here. Fill that little cup up. I'm gonna let it sit for just a hair here. 
I gotta tell you right now, I'm feeling like this is a lot more pain in the butt to clean up than uh, a brush is. And personally, I feel like the brush was a little faster as far as filling in all those little hard spots. And I'm not done yet. I'm still gonna go through with the brush and fill in those big areas. Um, I don't know, my review right now, I guess I could go ahead and say, I think this will do the job. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's any easier or any faster than using a brush, in my opinion. Totally just my opinion. Um, I would check this out. So the handle here unscrews and has a little clean out tool in it as well. Kind of shove that through the little hole. I did this the other day. I tested this in something. So I'm going to go through this side, clean the little, you guys can see this, so it's just like a little wire, pushing it through the hole here, clean this out, let's uh, clean the paint off of that, and back in it's like threading a needle, so it's not super duper easy, <laughs> but it's getting the gunk out. Let's uh, put just a little bit more reducer through this again. Just kind of halfway filling that little pillow. I guess I filled it up all the way. Go back through here again. Now let's squeeze that reducer out through the tip. Maybe we put a little bit more reducer in here. I don't want to leave any paint in there. I don't want to let it be gummed up. Let's see if we can. Ah, there we go. Just like it worked. Look at that. Dripping out. Clean it out. Um, I do see myself using this tool again. I think it's really helpful for really tight little bitty spots inside of logos and emblems. Um, if I had smaller crevices, I guess, than what's on what I'm working on right now, might be easier to use this tool than to use the brush. Um, like I said, again, overall, I think the brush is going to remain my go-to. And this might be, I don't know, kind of a specialist thing whenever it comes to really tight little spots. But to me, brush is faster. Uh, Brush is easier, brush is less clean up. So, I guess that's my review on this. I am going to go ahead and finish up that logo. And while I'm doing that, I guess that'll be towards the end of the video here. And we'll just kind of end with video footage of me finishing out that logo with the brush. So, y'all enjoy. All right, here we go. End our video me finishing these off with this um, I do still have to come through and do he wants orange on these letters here and I gotta do a little shirt and stuff but these are pretty neat um I will ask this if you've used one of those tools if you don't mind down in the comments tell me what you think about it um if you know of a better way to use it than the way that I am if there's something I don't know about on that I'm going to clean that edge up. Let me know if you know of a better way of doing this. Please share. Let's all help each other grow. Um, keep saying I'm a lot. <laughs> I do appreciate everyone who watches these videos. I get a lot of good comments. I got a lot of good comments off my last one. I think I got more actual messages from people sending me comments either through Facebook or Instagram than I did comments down in the comment section there but I only got multiple ways of communicating feel free to check me out on Instagram it's Jack Fleming Artistry uh, I've also got a page on Facebook that's Jack Fleming Artistry my website jackflemingartistry.com kind of help support my channel I guess by going there and maybe buying some merchandise to help support my business not necessarily my channel but 
again, I do enjoy making these videos. I enjoy sharing knowledge with other people. I enjoy all the comments and stuff that I get back. I enjoy the things that other people teach me. Thank you. And y'all have a good day. I'm going to go ahead and be quiet. Just paint. Y'all go paint. sticking around this far you might be interested in clicking on one of the other videos that comes up i've got a bunch more videos out there some of them showing what i do in the studio some of them showing how to do different stuff some are tips Y'all have a good day.